Originally rolled out in 2016, the tall and skinny and streetwise Dyna Lowrider S was an instant classic, but unfortunately it wouldn't last long. Harley decided to cull its portfolio soon after, and when the smoke cleared the entire Dyna line was gone, and not even the mighty S had withstood the axe. And the motor company took copious notes. All of which explains Harley's reintroduction of the Lowrider S, now making its re-debut as a 2020 soft ale. The color matched mini fairing frames the recessed lead headlamp just to the front of the bar for a similar look and feel to the previous S model. The setup puts you in a more aggressive riding position with a high back solo seat on the other end to keep your butt in the chair when you pin the throttle. The second disc brake has been added to a new 43mm Showa inverted fork. Greater agility has been baked in by steepening the rake angle 2 degrees to 28 degrees, which slightly reduced the wheelbase from 64.2 inches to 63.6. For comparison, the old Dyna Lowrider used a lazy 32 degree rake. Performance geeks will surely appreciate the beefier front end and doubled braking power, but know that they respectively add 6 pounds and 7 pounds, according to Harley Davidson. The high back solo seat is placed 26.5 inches off the ground, a modest 0.3 inches higher than the standard low rider. It's quite plush and helps nullify whatever bumps aren't soaked up by the well-behaved Showa Shocks 3.4 inches of rear wheel travel. Preload can be set by a handy hydraulic adjuster. It's overflowing with badass attitude and has few flaws aside from its $17,999 price tag. If you're looking for a premium cruiser without saddlebags, the Lowrider S is definitely worth a look.